I'm John Holliger. I'm at the Martin de Poors Center in Columbus, Ohio. The name of my show is Elder Trees, Poets and Mystics of the Forest. I grew up in Huron, Ohio, which is on Lake Erie. And my childhood home was two blocks from Lake Erie. But behind my house, there was an acre of trees that my father had purchased. And when I was a young child, he'd come home from work and he'd say to my mom as she's making supper, I'm going to walk around the yard. And I would tag along and he would have such affection for the trees that he had ordered and that had brought him back to life. There were trees that he would touch with such tenderness and others that were had a fragrance. So he would take a few of the leaves and uh, make the fragrance come out of them and share with me their fragrance. Or we would go in the morning and we would see the dew, how it formed on the edges of the leaves. And uh, it, it would, became very easy to tell when a photographer had taken a spray bottle compared to the naturalness of the dew. So it's from those early walks in the, gar in the backyard uh, with my dad that I came to love and to have this sense that trees were alive and they had spirit and they were odd in their own unique ways. And it was this very different oddity that I came to love and to cherish. There were times when in college and later in life, I found that inside myself, I was just so confused and lost. And I remembered our walks in the backyard. So I would go to a woods and I would walk through the woods. And every once in a while, I'd just stop and stand there and take in the presence of the trees. And I remember vividly one time when I was very discouraged and lost, and it was as if all the trees around me came alive and I sensed their spirit and the leaves and the branches that were overhanging me as be being very protective and that I was safe in this woods and they were conveying to me you're safe here. You can come back as often as you want to. And this tree in particular, I like because it's off the beaten track. There's a tiny little pathway of pine and you get to this larger area and this tree has many different odd shapes to it. And I wonder when I look at it, now what happened to it that this limb was broken off and this limb was went to the side and had that curious, uh, huge bend in it. Uh, trees can be 200 years old very easily if they're left alone. So they have a long history and they can raise questions in my own life. What's, what's really kind of crooked and has gone off the path? And here, I love this because the path seems to end. And when I'm lost or discouraged, it seems like there is no path. I don't know where the path is anymore. And so I go to the woods and here is a tree who is pointing to where the path is that I am to follow, that I didn't see before. A witch hazel tree just, it goes in all kinds of directions and gets very twisted. And there's, 
I don't know why, but that's uh, the way I can feel sometimes. And so I was walking along the woods and I came upon this tree that had all kinds of twisting and the roots were going up and then they'd come down and then they'd go through. And I thought, I can relate to that. I've had moments like that. And I was reading the poetry of William Stafford and David White and realized that from their writings that it's the strangeness or the oddity or the eccentricity of each of us that we cherish. And I came to do my walks in the woods to regain my balance inside myself. And I could also see the message of the trees that they had and that they could give. They were poets and they were mystics. And if I listened to them and looked at them, they spoke to me. And so I saw that in the trees, I cherished what was odd or strange or unexplainable. For me, the uh, difficulty that our culture is in is because we are uh, separated and have a distance from the natural world. And so I hope that my exhibit of elder trees as poets and mystics of the forest will be an invitation for people to go into the forest near them and to start listening to the trees and connecting to the trees as sentient beings that have feelings and that have a spirit and that they want to speak to us and they have messages for us. And if I go at different times, the same tree will have a different kind of wisdom that it wants to share with me. I hope you'll come to the exhibit Elder Trees, Mystics, and Poets of the Forest and experience the wonder and the joy and the messages that will come to you as you allow yourself to enter into the photograph of the various trees. There is a booklet that accompanies the exhibit and the booklet explains the context of each tree, a little bit about each tree, and how you might reflect upon what you're seeing. Mm -hmm.